Where are you from? Why does he sound like he's from England then? Has he been hanging out with his auntie too long? Sorry, I didn't mean to bust your balls that hard. It's okay, it's only live on YouTube, I'm sorry. Welcome to Venice Heritage. This guy has been painting out of this place for years. As long as I can remember. Uh, I think since the 80s. Love his work. It's all original. And it's amazing art. I've seen this change names, I don't know how many times over the years. And a lot of these businesses change. But it always had the local flair. Now the big business is trying to gouge in on that big cash dollar that Venice Beach brings to California. People are rising up and making their voice clear how they feel about it. As seen by the demonstration by the Venice Dogs earlier today, and more demonstrations that will continue to happen because they're serious. They want to keep the art, the heritage, the uniqueness of Venice Beach, California, truly Venice Beach, as it should be. Big companies, you can sell stuff through the local vendors. You'll have no problem moving your stuff, and you don't have to force out the local economy. You'll still make plenty of money. Look at the line here just to get into one of the local cafes on the waterfront. Not big business, just a local game. It's been renamed several times, and this one's new. That's new, but they were other seven. Even the Jewish shows may have redone. Need a tarot reading? Now this? Radical love? Or a trip to the wild side? Venice Beach has a unique culture. Unlike many other places I've traveled around the world, Venice is truly uniquely an entity of its own, just like the Venice in Italy and over in Europe, brother. And key cities around the world that you really wouldn't want to be overly commercialized because it would take away from the uniqueness, the charm, the heritage of the community. And Venice and the Venice dogs are standing tall to ensure that the Venice Beach Boardwalk, unlike any boardwalk in California, remains uniquely Venice Beach. And isn't it interesting, there's a come to the north end of Venice Beach, here at Navy, Go to Santa Monica, how radically it changes. Same on the south end. When you get down and start to change to Marina del Rey, again, Venice is truly a unique animal unto itself. And there's the dividing line, the split, no man's land between the two cities, and Santa Monica clearly up ahead where that sign starts all appearing. The rules and regulations take on a whole new demeanor. Well, Santa Monica certainly has its unique charm. It has its own unique set of problems with corruption of government, abuse of people they don't want in their city, or that they feel they can use for their own self-indulgent purposes. Truth be told, I think Santa Monica is more dangerous than Venice right now. And I think the Joint Terrorist Task Force, U.S. Marshals, DSS, PII, Interpol, and several others would back me on that if they were telling the truth. Which I know is hard for government to do a lot, but, you know, doing federal contracting for as many decades as I have and working with every agency I've just rattled off, 
in one level or another, consulting or assisting capacities for humanitarian interests, putting my ass on the line to tell the truth, uh, and being set up by a bunch of crooked cops, kind of pisses Uncle Kurt off. And, uh, truth be told, some of the stuff I just found out downtown about you bitches, oh, there's going to be a shitstorm coming for all of you real soon. You can pretty much bang on it, baby. I'm not joking.